Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing another one of those uh, videos where we compare the old versus the new. As you can see here, I have not restored this beautiful car here. And we are working with a... Let's zoom in so you guys can see it. A series in number 22 Pontiac GP Sports Coupe. We have a patent number on the on the base, and on the new one it says 64 Pontiac Grand Prix, and a bunch of numbers made in Thailand. Here it is. We got paint on both rivets or mushroom post for those that need to hear it that way so let's take a look at this old one here and we go if we go by the last video uh, details in the doors you can see on this old model we do have details there it is we have a nice steamer wheel with gray interiors very nice leg space there so you can see the windows uh, they are pretty much scratched up we have the old style black plastic wheels with the thicker axle nice detail in the back and a lot of you guys are going to be sad but it's missing the hook you can clearly see that it was either broken off or somebody decided to cut it off don't be too sad have the front very nice detail so we could see that it did have uh, the silver details in the front grille something to keep in mind when we restore this car and I don't know it's just a beautiful car so let's go over to the new one major difference here is the base is plastic and now the headlights are part of the base and so is the grill so you get a minus five there minus five points and like somebody mentioned on my uh, Volkswagen video which the terms fit nicely it seems that we have a bulletproof glass in this one also. Look how thick that thing is. My God. What are they doing? What are they doing? Look at the back. Uh, I think the term bulletproof glass fits perfect. Now we open the door. Let me see on this one if you can see it better. They don't open as wide, but you can see we do have some minor details there. Not like the old one, but definitely some details. Let's see if we can get it to zoom perfect there. There you go. Now if we look the inside, we are back to a crappy steering wheel. This one is almost to the floor. How are you going to drive this car if the steering wheel is all the way to the floor? Come on, Mattel. What are you doing? Look at this. We do not have a lot of uh, leg room in the back seat. What are they doing? How are you going to drive this car? Look at that steering wheel. Seems we have some paint 
issue here in the border of the door looks like they cleaned it off after they painted because it is kind of tight there if we go to the back we encounter the same issue as in the front half of the tail light is uh, part of the plastic base really changes the look here so um, give me your boots guy but I think the old one is winning again all the way from the glass windshield rear tail lights front headlights interior steering wheel seats everything looks a lot better on the old one I do like this color it's kind of nice and of course this is uh, reminiscing of the matchbox super fast era where this casting was offered in this or a similar color so we're gonna go over to the book and I want to show you something all right so give me a minute all right so we're here in the book and of course links to this book will be provided in the video description we have the car here it's known as a 22 c2 Pontiac Grand Prix sports coupe so you only see a red variation right so this book has a uh, super fast section so I got it already marked out see if I can do this it doesn't fit here but here it is that's the purple color that one was known as the 22A2 Pontiac Grand Prix and that was the super fast wheels now if we go to the back let's see I already got them marked I don't know about you guys, but I just, I like books, I like information. All right, so we're looking for the 22 right here. This book is saying that there was a variation, orange red body, black plastic wheels, and the one I have, red body, black plastic wheels, right? Now, if we go over to the super fast section, let's see if I can get that in the shot. It's going to be a little bit difficult. Right here, red body, gray interior. So that's basically the one I have, but with uh, super fast wheels. Dark purple body. So that means. During the super fast era, there was also a red version. And as you can see, it was a dark purple and a light purple, which makes me think that uh, it was something similar to what happens with uh, the original Hot Wheels. There was actually no control on the paint. So depending on who was working the machine that day, you get that color variation both gray interior black base so the most rare one will be the red body with the super fast wheel interesting right now i found a web page and now we're going to go over to the computer so you can see it check it out this web page here vintage british diecast.co.uk we have the car here and it's got a bunch of them listed with different uh, details. Like for example, this one, it, it was posted in 2007, number 22C, blah, 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 red, black, 
base gray interior and tow hook black plastic near mint type f box so a lot of these prices go hand in hand with the condition of the box and i guess the type of box so if we scroll down check this one out in green and look at the box so this one here says that it is a pre-production color trial doesn't have any silver grill white interior black base doesn't have the pine number or tow guide so originally it didn't have the tow hook interesting right let's go down we find another red one what happens if I don't have the phone with my hand and this one look at this 22 red light gray interior black base without tow guide so they're out there guys these cars are out there without the tow hook sorry for you guys that get so you know they get they get sad let's look at this one and so this one is basically the one i have pretty common one Let me scroll down and I'm interested in the box look at the box blue car and I haven't been able to find a blue car look at this one so purple pre-production before super fast wheels very rare they're out there look at this other one silver color color look at green look at this other they call it pale green and this other one pale blue so that pale blue doesn't really look blue on the picture but uh i'm thinking maybe i could do mine a uh a blue color like just like the picture on the box let's see if i find it right there by the uh, nice variation without the tow hook i don't know let me know what you guys think and that's gonna be it for this video thank you for watching peace out